हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स गुड इवनिंग वेलकम टू अ न्यू ईयर 2021 वेयर वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग दैट वी वुड बी kicking out covid and for this probably psm is the most important subject which is going to make a difference but if we talk about your exams psm is a very interesting one because 10% of all the questions would always feature from psm whether you talk about any exams it be the neat exam it be the ini cet exam or the next exam you will always have 10% of questions from this particular subject there is no going up anywhere okay and that is the reason in today session i would be taking up some topics which will be like every topic is like 10 minutes but those are those topics which you generally face issues in okay so i am your host and your dost for the next 45 to 60 minutes i am dr siddharth i am your psm faculty from the college which we all aspire to be from yes yes this is a demo class okay so we will start with a curve which we have been seeing right from our robins pathology book but we never have had interest to actually understand that curve and this curve is called the kaplan mir curve this is also called as the survival curve because it tells about survival which is the opposite of fatality now why i am telling you because you can get a very simple question survival rate is 100 minus case fatality rate survival rate is 100 minus case fatality rate so we would look into this kaplan mir curve now where do we use this we use this in cancers most commonly where we talk about five yearly survival yes everyone has heard in cancer we talk about five year survival but cancer is not the only place where we are using it we are also using it in road traffic accidents chronic kidney disease leading to crf or chronic liver disease you can use in all of these settings okay you can use in all of these settings now this is theoretical when you talk about the ini cet exams they would expect you to be able to interpret a kaplan mir curve as well so today we will learn about the interpretation of <clears throat> the kaplan mir curve 
सो टूडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट द इंटरप्रेटेशन यस ओके ना आई विल एक्सप्लेन इट ट्वाइस ओके बिकॉज इट इज नॉट दैट इजी एट द फर्स्ट गो वंस यू हैव हर्ड इट ट्वाइस यू कैन इजीली गेट अ फील ऑफ इट this is the y axis this is the x axis on the x axis i am depicting time in years so 0 1 2 3 4 5 5 on the y axis i am talking about survival where i can mention it as percentage or in absolute number so when it starts all the people are are of alive now at the end of one year 20 people died so 80 are now alive at the end of second year 30 died so 50 are alive then again 20 died 30 are alive 20 died 10 are alive at the end no one is alive yes yes so basically i have taken some example to explain you this particular phenomenon now what form of questions can be asked to you from this curve the first question is what is the five year survival all of you can see over here the five year survival is zero no one is surviving the second question can be maximum deaths in year now if you see over here 20 died 30 died 20 died 20 died 10 died here maximum death is being seen in the second year third median survival median survival now what is median survival let us first know the theory it is evident from the name median survival means when 50% are alive so let us look over here 50% are alive in this particular diagram if you see at second year of time so again this is second year yes now there can be one more question and the question is very simple they would say that on taking treatment something like this has occurred so this is with treatment the below line was without treatment so the fourth question which can be asked is benefit of treatment at fifth year yes so you can now now say that the benefit of treatment is 50% yes so my dear students this is all about the kaplan muir curve yes by the time you digest it i'll again repeat it but let me answer few questions i could see a student asking from where will you get updates follow the dams delhi page or my facebook page or insta page i keep on posting updates over there 
Ames capsule, from the perspective of PSM, there's nothing to update because they were all conceptual topics. So that stands true. Yes. Thank you, Ritik, for the compliments. Yes. So let us now again start understanding the Kaplan Muir curve. So there are four forms of questions which can be asked. The first question to be answered is, what is the five-year survival? So very simple concept. To know the five-year survival, in this kaplan Muir curve, you have to only and only look into, at the end of five years, how many people are left. Yes, at the end of five years, you have to just see how many people are left. So if you see the two images or the two lines, in the thin line at the end of five years, zero people are surviving. Whereas in the thick line, you can see at the end of five years, 50% people are surviving. So five year survival without treatment is zero. Five year survival with treatment is 50%. I hope it is clear. The second question is benefit of treatment. Very simple. 50 minus 0. So benefit is 50. Yes. Third question is median survival. Now, median survival is when 50% of people are alive. So in this question, median survival without treatment is at second year. With the treatment, it is at fifth year. Because you can see, when you give the treatment, at the end of fifth year, 50% 50 people are alive. So I can ask you one more question. Benefit of the drug or treatment with perspective to median survival increase is by dash years. Answer is 3. Now how did I get 3? 5 year for with the treatment, 2 year without treatment. So I need to subtract 5 minus 2 is 3. This can be another question. Next, maximum death in. If you see the thin line, maximum number of people have died in the second year. So maximum, serve, maximum mortality or death is in the second year. Now my dear students, this is a purely conceptual diagram. I cannot make you guys mug up. The reason is, the moment the diagram changes, your answer changes. So it is about understanding the image. It is not about mugging up the image. I hope it is clear, boys and girls. With this, we come to the end of the first discussion of today's topic. If anyone has got any queries, please go ahead and ask your doubt. Anyone has got any queries, please go ahead and ask your doubts. Yes, I am waiting. Okay, so should I proceed ahead? Yes, as I can see there are no doubts which is being thrown to me from our audience. Okay, so let us go into the second topic of discussion. Here, we will do a calculation based question where we will calculate the number of pregnancies 
in a year and at any given time okay so there are doubts coming up i will scroll up first okay benefit of treatment and three years time okay now beta if you see in this curve the median survival is five year whereas in this curve the median survival is two year so i can also say the benefit of treatment is increase in median survival by three years okay shri lakshmi i hope beta you are clear with this krishna this is one part to tell you the benefit of treatment the other way to interpret is at the end of five years you can see no one is surviving when you are giving the treatment but the moment sorry when you are not giving the treatment but the moment you are giving this treatment there is 50 percent of survival so the benefit of treatment is five zero fifty percent yes i hope it is clear to all of you now okay let us move ahead to our second point of discussion to calculate the number of pregnancies in a year and at any given time now for this we will first use birth rate for thousand population into population of an area now suppose i say this is x this is x now y is x plus 10 percent of x now what is this 10 percent for this per 10 percent is to account for abortion so what is this y this is the number of pregnancies in an area in a year now before i proceed ahead let me just tell you birth rate is basically talking about the life birth rate because always birth rate is for life births now what do i mean by population of an area sub center 5000 phc 30000 chc 1.2 lakhs now this population norms are for rural areas now if it becomes hilly then the population norms change if it becomes hilly the population norms changed similarly if it is urban then again the population norm change now you have to remember these population norms because if you don't remember this population norm in the exam you would be in a lot of trouble now by defunct if nothing is mentioned we take it as the rural setup agar kuch bhi nahi diya hai so we will take it as a rural setup i hope it is clear to all of you yes boys and girls there is no doubt till this point so let us take an example birth rate is 20 per thousand 
and I am talking about sub center population which is 5000 so x will be 20 per thousand into 5000 which is 100 y will be 100 plus 10 percent of 100 answer is 110 this is what neat or next ask yes any student has any query till this point yes simple mathematical calculation i have done now the students make blunder by forgetting to use this or by not knowing the population of an area now if you forget these you will be in a lot of trouble if you forget this you would be in a lot of trouble okay done my dear boys and girls yes any queries till this point nay okay now the INICT people are not happy with this the INICT people have a tendency to ask you Z. Now what is this Z? It is number of pregnancies at any given time. This is one way to tell it or second number of active pregnancies or number of ANC registered in ANM register yes so this z is very simple y by 2 so in this example z will be 110 by 2 that is 55 now the question comes from where has this 2 come now this is not important for pg though but still I am answering it pregnancy is of nine months pregnancy is of nine months generally in the rural setup the patient comes after three months so how much time is left now six months in a year there is 12 months so 12 divided by this 6 gives you this factor 2 not important important is in the INICT exam be careful with the question because you would be in a trouble if you miss out on such simple lollipop questions okay this question has been asked even in the upsc 2019 paper okay so you cannot escape from this simple calculation you cannot escape from this simple calculation 
yes anybody has any doubt because here we mark the end of the second topic the second topic of today's discussion video yes so please please have a look if you have any queries let me know yes now let us proceed ahead here i will now give you a glimpse about how to read programs for mcq exams how to read programs for mcq exams okay now there are two programs which is home based both the programs are provided by the asha worker yes yes sir can you please say the words again to look for xyz beta z is number of pregnancies as given time number of active pregnancies number of anc registered in anm registered they can ask you anything why number of pregnancies in a area in a year x there is no name x there is no name yes i hope it is okay fine okay now in programs there are two programs which are home based both done by asha for which the asha gets 250 rupees per beneficiary now in some states it is 350 but universally it is 250 so which are those two program h b p n c and h b y c so one is home based post new natal care another is home based care of young child yes here there are five visits at 3 6 9 12 months of age of child here there are seven visits day 1 3 7 14 21 28 42 two. yes now this seven visits is done for home delivery if it is a hospital delivery six visits and five visits six visits nvd five visit lscs now so day 1 will be skipped day 1 and 3 will be skipped because the patient is staying in the hospital yes this is how you should be reading programs where you are reading the 
key points in a very schematic manner in a very schematic manner because if you don't do this you would not be able to recollect so many programs which are there in our subject okay so i hope you people are now confident to apply the same same scheme for all the other programs which you people will be studying yes done okay now i have taught you three things today i would like to have a participatory approach where i will give you a homework the winner will get will get a surprise gift there will be three winners there will be three winners what is the rule of to be a winner a correct answer and the quickest answer send answer to whatsapp number double nine six double eight five nine seven seven three yes and the question is and the question is yes okay before we go to the question sir median survival over yes i explained median survival where 50 percent of people are alive does asha get beneficiary on each visit better who is a beneficiary the mother and the child when the asha finishes all the visits whether it be five or seven then only she will get the benefit okay 350 rupees is in some states but as per the government of india she will get 250 rupees theek hai kuch kuch states mein jaise delhi mein 350 rupees dete hain more money they will give okay so here comes the question here comes the question what is the amount of residual chlorine in this bottle in packaged drinking water bislary yes contest closes at 6 pm 11 1 20 21 winner will be announced will be announced at 9 pm today on dams delhi fv page yes 
ओके यस सौरभ बट अल्टीमेटली यू शुड रिमेंबर इट इज द टॉटॉइज हु विन्स द रेस नॉट द रैबिट सो इफ यू आर थिंकिंग योर सेल्फ टू बी द रैबिट यू वुड बी इन अ सूप बिकॉज दीज आर कॉन्सेप्ट वेर ओनली द टॉटॉइज विन्स सो वेलकम माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड थैंक यू दिस इज द पार्ट ऑफ द डैम्स अल्टीमेट लाइव एप कोर्स वेर यू विल हैव ऑल द नाइनटीन सब्जेक्ट्स ऑन अ वीकली बेसिस फ्रॉम मंडे टू फ्राइडे फाइव पी एम टू टेन पी एम फाइव पी एम टू टेन पी एम ऑन द ई मेडिकोज एप सो फ्रॉम जम्मू कश्मीर टू तमिलनाडु from gujarat to manipur yes from india to west india that is west indies you can now access the course on your e medicos any queries any queries please feel free to contact me on 9968597 signing off your agony ant yes so see you and bye bye we will again catch up in the subsequent session and a happy and a prosperous new year to all of you bye bye and take care